Hello, it's Sarah. And actually, and Kiwi. I'm going to show you Kiwi while she's here. Okay, come over here. So this is, oops, hello, there she goes. Kiwi, step up. She is a green cheek conure. <laughs> and we've had her, I don't know, it's been 10 years at least. And she's a good girl. And uh, she's just sitting on my shoulder. Um, she doesn't talk or anything, but she's an awfully sweet little bird. And um, I had big birds too before, and I think I want to get a talker next time if I get another bird. I don't know. But all right, she's just going back on my shoulder. Um, so I have been trying to figure out what I'm going to sell in my Etsy store still, stuff like that. Um, and I'm really loving the Midori. So this is my original Midori, my real Midori uh, traveler's notebook. And I have been making my own inserts, as you know. These are um, actually what's in here now. I have a calendar, um, one of the plastic uh, that I've used the fuse to make, and then the folders that I showed you that I make with um, a file folder, and just one insert this has in it that I made. Because you can um, customize it to your liking if you like certain uh, pattern papers and things like that. But I was using the um, the file folders that you get from um, the dollar spot at uh, Target because I saw someone, someone absolutely gave me the idea to do that. So then I have my painted um, Midori's travel notebook, my Fodori, Fabridori, whatever you want to call it. So I'm thinking if I sell these on Etsy, I'd like to sell it as um, with, it, it comes with inserts. So um, for instance, this one has two notebooks that I made and I just did, I used the blue paper for the notebooks. And then this is the insert um, that I just pulled red. I, I don't, I didn't really have a perfect folder for this one yet. I'm still playing around with it. But when I post it, or if I, if I post it, I will have, It'll be like a set, ready-to-go thing. So that's what I was thinking. So I go on Etsy, and I look, I'm start, I wanted to look at things that people have on there for Midori's. Um, so I came across this, Anna, Annika Hamby is the Etsy store, the name of the Etsy store. And she has these file folders for your Midori's made to order, and she uses cardstock. So, of course, I've been busy and I'm stocking up because I figure even if I don't sell them in my Etsy store, when I go to my craft show, I'll have the, um, here's one, the faux dory. So this one's a fabric dory with the leopard print, pink and black. I'll have them and then I'll have inserts that they can choose from. So I'll have the file folder ones. This is actually a notebook. Um, and I'll have some of the plastics that they can, I think they can pick and choose what they want. That's what I was thinking of doing. So I was looking and I, like I said, I saw Annika Hamby's site and she has the file folder inserts, but she made them with, because see, I have a ton of them made with the dollar spot folders from Target. And I think I found these. I forget where I found these, but um, you know, I did my um, tutorial for them. And then here's the fused pocket inserts that I did um, with the. Uh, I guess I used um, report covers, whatever I can find. These were the tabs that you can get. I got them at Walmart. It seems like the cheaper the plastic, the better it fuses. Um, so anyway, uh, Annika has four pocket folders and six pocket folders for sale and I have figured out how you can make them with pattern paper so this is the smaller size because um, and I'm just loving the pink and orange right now I don't know why but I just do um, here is the pink and orange in the bigger size where I put um, a pink polka dot in the background so this is one pocket but then there's a pocket in the back so just another option and then she also has one with six pockets but for now i just wanted to play and also figured out a way to use cardstock 
So I'm going to um, change my battery because it's blinking. And I think I'll put Kiwi away. And I'm going to come back and just show you how I made these. I pulled just a few papers, but look at this. Gold with the pink inside. So it has the back pocket here. It goes all the way down. And then there's still the pocket here. So it's still a file folder. Same thing. Um, this is just black. I don't really love how that one turned out. Um, this one I love with just the green and the gold. That's one of my old ones. That one was, a, I was trying it with the file folder at first, but then I thought, no, I don't need the file folder. I did it with this paper with the pink inside. I like that. And then this one with the green, because this has like green, a green circle. I love the black and green. That's really pretty. And then this one with the green and white. And then this one polka dots inside and all that gold so uh, yeah did I do and then I only I just did this one I ran out of the other polka dot paper but I really like that polka dot paper I wish I had it so I've just been looking through my stash I have I have one that I want to put together for this um, and then I'm going to use this black paper I have these already made cut to fit to make pages and I think I might put pink paper in these and that's how I'll have two of those. I'll put one of my clear one of these in here and then I'll, um, I'm going to put this in here. So we're going to come back and this is going to be the file folder and I'm actually using I guess vellum this is called because just because it had the same I don't know it's a bright I just wanted to try it and I didn't really have another piece of paper that matched this totally. Um, so I'm going to come back and share how I do that. I have this one. I love this combination. This and this. Love that. And this and this. This will be the inside. So I'm going to come back and I'll show you how I do that. Okay. So listen. I don't want to take any business away from Monica Hamby's store. But um, those of you who like to make your own... Um, I just thought I'd share how I did it. Um, hers, go over, check out her um, Etsy store because she has a lot of great options as well. So um, those of you who don't want to make yours, go check it out. Um, first thing you want to do is pick two coordinating pieces of paper. Uh, I chose, I forget what paper stacks. I just went through my paper stacks and pulled these. I just love pink and gray. It's super pretty. Um, the bigger piece that you want for your cover that you're going to see on the outside, so this piece, the piece that's on the outside, um, is going to be 9.5 by 12. All right, so also, so this is the whole length of a 12 by 12 paper, pat, uh, paper. but the 9.5, make sure that if it's a, a, a top and bottom facing page, that you have it going in the right direction. Okay, so nine and a half by twelve, and then this piece is going to fit, um, going to be on the inside of it, and that's facing you. But um, I'll show you that in a minute. You want this to be eight and a quarter. I'm sorry, eight and one eighth by eight and three eighths, and you still might need to trim it, and I'll show you why. But it's going to be eight and one eighth. So just because it's basically eight and a quarter by uh, eight and a half but you don't you don't want it to bump into the tabs when you fold it so um, eight and one eighth by um, eight and three eighths all right so I will put that in the description box don't worry all right so get that cut down and then the next thing you want to do is score I have this one squared already and I don't know if you can see my score lines but the, you're going to score going down the long way and again make sure if you have a piece of paper that has a top and bottom that you're you know doing it the right way half inch <clears throat> four and three quarters inch in the middle and then at nine and I usually flip my out on my scoreboard I just go like this and score it half an inch on both sides it's just easier to reach and then along this 
bottom it's eight and a quarter because that's how big your insert's going to be because this is going to fold up and create your pockets and these are this is going to fold in over here these two tabs we're going to create tabs to hold everything together and then the next thing you want to do is make this little uh section here so you're going to create a v i'll show you what i mean so i have do i have my ruler yeah um, I should use a marker. So right in the center here where uh, the line in the middle meets the bottom line, you're going to go over from the middle three quarters of an inch on both sides. So three quarter, three quarter. Put a little mark there. And then you're just going to simply connect from here to there with a line. So that's pretty crooked. But anyway, you'll have a V right there. All right. Um, <clears throat> then I'm going to have you fold this part up and just make a little um, mark here as well where the pocket ends because we're going to cut the tab there too. So just do it on both sides. Just put a little mark on the... Um, See how I put a little dot, purple dot there? All right, now we're going to cut this into, like, let's see, which side should I put this on? I'm just more comfortable with it right there. I'm going to cut this V, and I just go to the outside of the line instead of cutting right on it because I don't want any of that purple marker to show. So I'm going to cut this right along the outside of that line, too. So cut that little V out. And then you're going to cut these tabs off and go to the inside of the um, score line. So over here, like there's the score line has kind of like a line, an indent, and a line. I always cut it all the way to the edge of the inside line because this is what I'm talking about. You don't, when this folds up, you don't want it to bump into your um, tab. And then you're going to cut that off with a little V. See how it like I made it a little V? And then right here again you're going to cut where that little purple dot was and you're going to make a tiny little V there and you're going to continue up and do a little V on the top. And I know I was out of the shot for that but that's... So basically you're just creating tabs. And do the same thing on this side. Uh, wait a minute, sorry. Um, all the way over to the far right of that score line because that's going to be covered by the tab anyway so don't worry like that one was really over but it's okay and then this I just go straight and then just a little V on both sides of that and then a little one here too so that's all you're cutting now I want you to score real or not score but like yeah score so we're going to fold this up See, that's going to be upside down, but the front won't be upside down. It's all right. I don't mind. I just love this paper, so there's really no way around that. If you have a, um, it's the inside, so it doesn't, that's not the important part. So then fold it over and score. Make sure it's nice and folded. And do the same thing for your um, tabs. Fold them over and score. Now, I made a lot of mine without making this notch. The notch is new. I'm doing that for the first, well, I've done a couple, but I've cut them after the fact more often. Um, just because this way, I'll show you, when you um, are using the, the bottom pocket, you, you're not going to rip here because it would rip otherwise. So I'm going to take the other piece that goes in the middle, kind of figure out which side is which, all right, that's how it fits. Now, the first thing you want to do is, I didn't score this with the uh, scoreboard because it's such an odd number. The, um, so all I'm doing is folding it toward itself, so the front to the front. Make sure you get that nice and even and just fold it and then score it. And we still may trim this a little bit. But I also do um, a little uh, notch for pulling out anything that's in that pocket. And I just eyeball a half 
This is probably a one inch circle punch. I eyeball half a, half a circle in the top two areas of that. Again, we're gonna lay this back in here. And what's most important is that the center spine areas are definitely connecting. That's what you want to be nice and tight. So I stick it in there and then I score it again. Don't worry about your tabs or anything right now, but make sure that little center piece is in there and down. So see, it's actually, oh no, that's good. It, it seems like it's sticking out a little bit. If that's the case, if it's sticking out, trim it down here because it's not gonna be seen down there. And this was what I was talking about about the sides. We don't want it bumping into the um, tabs because when you close it, it will make the pockets bow, um, bow out. So I'm just gonna show you, like this is how it would be closed with everything. And it is, it feels like it's bowing out. So I need to trim a little bit off this, these two edges. And all I do to do that is put this right in my um, paper cutter and just take, take off that end bit. And that will be perfect now. So instead of getting a measurement, it's just easier to fudge it, I found. So now I'm putting this back in here making sure that the um, center is butt right up against the other center and now it's not going to bow. Close this. Now it feels nice and smooth. So, and basically that's all you have to do. Now, once this is tucked in here, I do one side at a time and I've been using wet glue and you guys can use your, um, what is this called? You know, this, the tape, the very strong tape. I don't happen to have a thin enough one. I only have the, oh wait, I have this. I think I'm just going to use the wet glue because that's what I've been doing. So make sure this is, um, in the corner first and then do one side at a time. So make sure this is folded up. And fold that over. I have a paper towel around here somewhere. And then same thing with this one. And then I'll show you what I mean by having this notch. It's just good to have. Sometimes if your cardstock has a little bit of a glossy finish to it, you have to hold this wet glue a little longer. But that seems to be adhering really well. So see now, when I put something in this pocket, I'm not going to rip this the way it might try to do if, and it still holds everything perfectly fine. So I think the notch is, is the way to go. Now I'm just tucking this in the corner, making sure that is in the corner, in the binding area, nice and tight. And then I just do this. And this looks like I, I scored it so hard that I ripped the paper um, on the score line. So that's not good. I just love this pink and gray, it's so pretty. And then we have, oops. So this is upside down like I told you, but that looks pretty cool. And then I just go back and make sure everything is um, scored nicely. Yeah, I scored this too rough and there you have it. So then. You have this pocket. Oops. See, that's why I did that, um, the notch, so that anything won't try to rip this. And then you still have this pocket. So I love it. And then the last thing I do is, um, oh, I put that shaker in there. I take my corner rounder because when you put um, stuff in your Midori, 
it uses the elastic bands and you don't want so I'm going to use the quarter inch round. I use this um, crocodile corner chomper. And I just do the two um, the two corners that are going to be in the book. Because when, see here, look, here's the uh, this one. When you put it under your cording, you want it to have so it doesn't rip here either if you have a nice little notch there that looks kind of pretty in there actually I don't mind that in there but I'm gonna make uh, where did I put it this I'm gonna do this one so again I just want to show you so this has been all cut already before you try to glue anything just make sure that this isn't bumping into your notches and it's all snugged in to the corner to the I keep calling it a corner but the center binding area that has to be tucked in nice and tight and make sure this isn't bumping I think that's good but let's fold it over and make sure it doesn't bow you don't want that middle piece of um, paper to bow I think this is good see look it's like snug to the side so it's not bowing so I can glue this too I already um, pre-cut this so, and then this is the one, I did this with vellum. So, it's just that paper stack has like vellum in it. And this pink was just pretty and I, eh, I figured I'd give it a shot. So, I don't know how vellum holds with uh, wet glue. And this is definitely like a, a waxier paper. This paper is uh, like a thicker and it has like a coating on it. So I just thought it would go well together. Make sure everything's facing the right direction if you, uh, okay, see how it's bowing now? So I really want to make sure that I push it into the center and hold it nice and tight in there before gluing. I'm going to make sure it's good. Seems like it. Yeah, it seems like it. Okay. So make sure it's tucked into that center. And that's it. So I just figured I'd share that with you guys as another option. Those of you paper crafters out there that like to make inserts and stuff. I mean, they really work up fast. And... Um, why not have another option for a pocket, you know? Uh, if you have taller things that are going to flip-flop. I mean, you could stick receipts in there, um, and they're out of the way and tucked where you don't even see them. You know, they're hidden more. So, like, this front pocket, you can put, like, cute things in. You know, cute stuff that um, you don't mind seeing as much. So, hopefully that worked with that vellum, because it is kind of bowing. We'll see. See, it's bowing a little, the vellum. Can you see that, how it's bowing? I don't know why it's bowing, because um, I trimmed it all down beforehand. So we'll just see. A little glue squeezed out there. Yeah, that's bowing. I'm not pleased with that. I don't know what I did. I must have not held it in the right... Um, I don't know, like... I think it's going to be okay. I don't think it's bad. I mean, no, it's, it's a little bad. Maybe it's the vellum. Like, the vellum um, takes on a, a shape of its own. And don't forget to clip these corners so that when you put it in the book, oops, it will, um, see, so here's, here's what I was hoping to do, put it in here. So I'm going to make these two into um, notebooks, and then I'll put this in the middle, and like, I don't know, I think I put all my um, plastic inserts. I would probably just use a clear, because I don't have a pink, or, um, but yeah, that's cute, but I don't know why it's bowing. So I'm going to make another one. I'll make another one with that. Alright, you guys? So basically, this is it, 
and see how that that's what I mean by not bowing it's just flat you want it to be a flat up against the back and then it won't be too bulky or anything so this one was made but see how I didn't put the notch ahead of time I cut it after because it would tend to want to like if you put stuff in here it it might want to push that up against that so I just thought it was better to make a notch there so all right that's it. Thanks for watching.